Boy, guess what laddies? Today, I tried beating Halo 3 ODST with only the SMG. But I made one vital mistake when choosing to do a challenge on this game, because I forgot why I've only ever done one other challenge on ODST. And that's because this game is too goddamn easy. It doesn't help that I played on normal, and I know some of you are asking, What? Halo 3 ODST too easy? Explain yourself. Well, you have an invincible teammate helping you in pretty much every mission, and this game has a similar problem to any Halo game created after Halo Combat Evolved. You can run past the majority of the enemies found throughout the levels, but you only really notice that when you do a challenge as opposed to a normal playthrough. But anyway, enough chit chat, let's get right into the challenge. Wait a minute my dudes, I'm moving way too fast here because I have some rules to discuss before we get into the challenge. Rule numero uno, I can only kill enemies with the SMG. That means no pistol, no grenades, no vehicles, and no melee. Rule number two, my teammates can kill enemies for me, because how's it my fault if they want to help me out? It's not like I'm controlling them. I may give them a rocket launcher or a Spartan laser, but at the end of the day, I don't control their actions, so it's a-okay. And rule number three, follow rules one and two. All right, cunts, now let's really get into the challenge. So you all know how the game begins. Aliens invade Earth and attack Africa, only Africa, because they're racist, and now we gotta take them out. But oh no, this is 2552. You thought it was bad in 2021 when developers released unfinished games and decided to finish them later with an update? Well, in 2552, they do that, but with everything. So my drop pod stops working because a new update came out, so now I die, but I actually lived, so yay, but then I immediately failed the challenge, so fuck. Seriously, I tried this part on every difficulty for over two hours, but you absolutely cannot kill every enemy that you need to here to proceed with the mission. You have to kill four brutes and 12 grunts. The grunts are really easy, but it takes roughly 64 bullets to take down a brute shield and finish them off on easy mode, and it just goes up in number with difficulty. There's also no SMG ammo in the entire area, so on single player, this part is impossible as fucking dog shit. You can only get past this part if you go on your Xbox, set up player 2, and use player 2's ammo supply to kill off the rest of the covenant. I could make a joke here about playing alone and having no friends, but that would be too easy. Besides, that joke has been overused at least 10 billion fucking times, even by me, so let's not do that joke. So now it was just a matter of killing off the rest of the enemies, and when I do that I had plenty of ammo to spare. You can run past the rest of the enemies in the mission, which are just a bunch of cunts, oh silly me, I mean grunts, I find some new drip and I beat the mission. Mission 2 is the first mission that is ridiculously easy and lacks an SMG. You play as the fuckboy buck, and you have to search for some nearby puss to repopulate the African population. But little does he know, she's exclusively into fisting. So much for that plan. This is the shortest and easiest mission to beat in the game, because you can run past every enemy in the level, and they even despawn when you attempt to open the pod, so there's nothing worth discussing here. Buck fails to find Puss Puss, a groovy alien aggressively dances at me, and just as I start to feel seduced, he gets his face blown off, and with that, the mission ends. Now, after most missions, we have these mini-missions called Mombasa Streets, and their purpose is just about going on a scavenger hunt, getting to the next mission, they always take under 3 minutes to beat, and you never really have to kill any enemies, so I'm just gonna avoid talking about these missions at all. Except for maybe the story element to them, because when the rookie touches one, you go on a Tom Riddle Horcrux acid trip into your teammates memories. Luckily in mission 3, you start out with an SMG, but in the first 60 seconds you get a warthog, and then you do nothing but drive for the entire mission. And once again, you can avoid killing every enemy. So fuck, skip this mission too boys. It sucks donkey dick and crocodile cunt to skip a mission, but don't worry, because mission 4 is where things start getting spicy, because holy shit, 
You actually have to shoot things in this mission. Oh yeah, boy. Look at all those enemies. It's exactly what I want. But unfortunately, three quarters of the mission is just driving past everyone once again. <sighs> I'm so sick of driving missions, oh my god. I gave Reginald here a rocket launcher, but he only likes to shoot it every leap year, so it's a miracle we got through the entire tank part without getting so much as a scratch. Fire? What? No, no, that's, that's, that's meant to be there. That is, until we ran into a psychopath. Who would win? One 66 ton tank or a fucking monkey? If you said rocket launcher, then you're absolutely right. This is the part of the mission where things get crazy bonkers crazy. For once in my life, there's some SMG ammo laying around, so I could actually afford to kill some enemies. At first, I was only going to target and kill the small fries, like jackals and grunts, because it made me feel like a big man. But the brutes decided to put me in my place by challenging me to a dance battle. Oh my god. Such, such bold moves. There's no way I could compete. My player model wasn't scripted for dancing, but fortunately, I brought my SMG to this dance battle. So I killed all the contestants, I restocked on SMG rounds, and now I had to kill a lot more enemies. There had to be at least 5 of them. My teammates weren't very helpful, and I didn't realize that SMG ammo was provided in these little green packets. So I should have had a lot of ammo for this section, but I kept wasting my ammo pack when I only shot about 10 bullets. But somehow, I managed to kill all the enemies here, which I thought would end the mission. But oh no, I had to kill a wraith to beat the mission. I thought it would be impossible because I tried destroying it with my entire stock of SMG ammo, but it was still standing. I tried pushing Dutch down to the wraith to have him kill it for me, but he kept retreating. And then I tried jumping on the back of it to get the enemies to share some friendly fire, but it didn't work. So failure seemed inevitable, and that's when I remembered that wraith's backsides are super fucking weak. The front side of the wraith can survive my entire stash of SMG bullets but shooting it in the rear when presented with the opportunity will destroy the wraith with ammo to spare. With the wraith taken out and me not being a complete moron with my ammo conservation, I whittled down the enemy forces within 3 minutes. Even when I killed off the last remaining enemies and I had a fuck ton of ammo to spare, a cop says he could use some backup, so we back him up and the mission ends. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the video, consider leaving a like, a comment, and subscribing. The objective of Mission 5 is to defend the Oni building against the overwhelming Covenant forces using bombs, comrades who are somehow weaker than grunts, and of course the SMG. Starting off, I armed my men with sniper rifles to help out, because the next section was packed with hunters, brutes, and every other alien type. But, my teammates both died in two fucking shots. They're actually as weak as flood infection forms, which is pretty pathetic. I wanted to save my ammo for when I got in the Oni building, because I would have to kill waves of enemies from the front doors, and when they flanked us from behind using ships. So luckily my other teammates were a bit more helpful here. We had to defend our position until the doors opened, and I think they only open once a certain number of enemies have been killed. So I killed a few enemies to speed up the process, and because there was some SMG ammo on the ground, so I could actually afford to use some bullets. I juggled an RPG into the building since it would be really helpful in the hands of one of my teammates. Once again, there's a buttload of ammo on the ground, but my teammates would do a lot of the work for me, so my biggest concern was protecting them. The enemies who come from the front are pretty easy since there's six of us, and they're suicide bombers, so they helped with thinning out their own numbers. I wish I had a cool strategy for killing the brutes, but all I did was hose them down until they died. So nothing worth really talking about. I still had most of my ammo when they flanked us, and on top of that my teammates were making good use of the RPG. So when one teammate died, I just passed it on to the next soldier until eventually we finished them off. We rode the elevator up, I avoided getting killed by drones, I took out the remaining enemies on the landing pad, and we beat the mission. In mission 6, the boys finally reunite, but then, conflict. 
So now Buck and I had to make our way to the crashed pelican and save our teammates. I don't start off with an SMG, so I had to ignore everyone I come into contact with. But even when I do find one a few rooms over, we already arrive at the crashed pelican. Except for Buck, because I pushed him off the building. <laughs> this is another mission where I don't have to kill anything to beat the level, because my teammates are killing everything with their high-tech weaponry, so I just got to stand there looking like a dumbass and killing enemies only when I felt like it. And then this stupid, chromosomeless pilot parked two feet too far to the right, so all the troops ended up killing themselves before I could even get to them. Within a few minutes, the brute chieftain comes down here to risk his life to kill the one black guy here. So the homies team up to kill the CEO of racism, and with that, the mission ends. And, oh boy, another vehicle mission? That just made my day. The objective of mission 7 is to get a covenant ship so we can escape the city. And my teammates do most of the work, so I just hang back. The only thing I had to destroy in this entire mission was the engineer's houses at the very end of the mission. So when the mission started, I made sure to grab Mickey's SMG, and then I ignored everything in the level except for the first four grunts and the scarab, but you don't have to kill any of these enemies to proceed. Destroying the engineer's homes only takes a few shots from the SMG, so that mission is easy as fuck and over in no time. And now do you guys see why this game is fucking dog shit for challenges? Because at this point there's only two missions left and I've barely used the SMG at all in this playthrough. Prior to starting mission 8, Captain Dare says, Hello? Please respond. I need some help over here. Ugh. But the rookie doesn't respond because this bitch sidetracked my scavenger hunt and my reunion with the boys. Just like every other level, there's a fuck ton of enemies, but not a single morsel of SMG ammo. So I had to be very careful with my limited supply. Which unfortunately means I would have to run past the majority of the Covenant, which is easier said than done since close quarters leaves you vulnerable to bullshit and leaves you with a 0% chance of reuniting with the homies. I had to kill a brute here, which obviously took up the most amount of my ammo, and then I had to kill 7 drones and 3 jackals. But drones and jackals die in a pitifully low amount of shots, leaving me with about 2 clips of ammo left for the rest of the mission. Captain Dare seems to think I'm a badass because I survived on the surface all night, so now she wants me to escort her through the Covenant infested facility. But little does she know I'm a bitch and a pussy because I ran past every alien I saw on the surface, and I ran past every enemy on the way here. Well, most of them. We made our way through covenant infested hallways, through the drone nest without dying, and then we creeped up on some brutes. All three need to die, and obviously my remaining ammo supply wouldn't be enough, but lucky for me, Dare has infinite ammo, and she's invincible, so it's all a matter of time before she kills them all. She killed the first brute, she killed the second brute, I paused the game for about 10 minutes to take a violent shit, the brute chieftain hit me up here which really sped things up since I didn't have to play tag anymore, and after what seemed like hundreds of bullets, Dare finally figured out that grenades are much more effective than shitty pistol bullets. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! What the fuck? I'm not sure if that's a lack of confidence or if she acquired brain damage mid-throw, but either way, she's fucking stupid. We head inside the facility, Dare tames a dashing, and dare I say, fashionable squid. She strips it of its fashion like a bitch, Buck shows up, the Covenant shows up, she tells me to clear a path to Buck, I disregard her order because I have faith in the squid, my plan worked out flawlessly, I killed some drones, and we hop on the elevator, concluding the mission. Captain Dare, are you aware that you can fit an entire extra large pizza in your mouth? Captain Dare's stupidly wide mouth may be the thing of nightmares, but even worse than that was I only had half a clip of ammo when I started the mission. I'm not starting the mission with only half a clip, what is this bullshit? So I quit, I restarted the mission, and now I was stalked. Starting off, I hopped in the turret tower and cleared out the grunts. I didn't have to kill anyone here, and I could have easily just ran past everyone, 
but this was one of my last chances to actually use the SMG. And considering I didn't use it for 37 of the 16 missions, I wanted to actually use it for once. I armed Buck with an RPG to speed things up, we take an elevator up to a highway, Buck gives me some shit advice. Take my advice, rookie. You ever fall for a woman? Make sure she's got pizza mouth. And now, we had to escort Dare and Fashion Squid in a fucking vehicle section. Whoopee! For this whole part, you're driving on a highway, so what do you expect? A linear path, avoid hitting enemies with my car, make sure Dare doesn't die, etc. I snagged the fuel rod gun before I got to the end of the vehicle section, so Buck could use it in the final defense part. But he relied more on telekinetic punches than guns. There's actually a large supply of SMG ammo for once in the challenge, and of course, it's at the very end of the game. What is there to say here really? I have two teammates with explosive weaponry, I have my epic gamer skills, and I have more ammo than I know what to do with. Although, getting cocky and trying to take on all the forces deployed from an enemy ship nearly got me killed, but I was lucky enough to escape death. That is, until my teammate shot me. Well, serves me right for being a dirty little team killer. Hunters, too easy, and the brute chieftain was running around like a little pussy. Apparently, he had no idea how to counter an SMG, so I fucking killed him, we finished off the brutes, and I beat the game. So was I able to beat Halo 3 ODST with only the SMG? On PC, it's totally impossible since you can only play on single player. And on Xbox, it's doable since you can play on two players, but the challenge is only doable on two players. After the first level, the challenge gets ridiculously easy. So yeah, this will most likely be my last ODST challenge on the channel. Well, consider leaving a like, a comment, and subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next one.